Hi Libra, welcome back. I hope you guys are doing well. This is going to be for Libra. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node. Please remember to click and switch the roles, guys. Could be talking about someone else in your energy. Also remember to just take what resonates and Libra does not fit for your situation, okay? So let's see, Libra. Thank you guys for your patience. I really, really appreciate you all so, so, so much. Let's see what's happening with you all, okay? Let's see what's going on for you guys, Libra. All right. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node for Libra. What's going on for Libra? Messages for Libra. Sorry, y'all. I'm looking at my dog. I'm trying to figure out what he's trying to do. Okay. He ain't his bed. <laughs> All right, Libra. Let's see. All right. So we have Donkey. Reluctant and stubborn. Okay, some of y'all could be done with the Taurus. <laughs> this reminds me of Taurus, all right. Um, hmm, let's see. Let's see what else comes out. Because I was going to write, you could be, there could be somebody around you that's just stuck in their ways. <laughs> all right, they're stuck in their ways. They're, they, they're used to doing things their way. All right. Let's see, what else? <laughs> so we have mop, sloppy mess, spill, and clean up. Then we have apple. Sagittarius just had that forbidden fruit temptation. All right, and one more for Libra. All right, so we have coffee beans, snooze, wake up call, and fresh start. Okay. Bottom of the deck, water. You could be dealing with a water sign or you could have water in your chart. Emotions, feelings, and replenish. All right, so let's see. You guys could be healing from something. All right, some of y'all need to drink a little bit more water or maybe a lot of more water. <laughs> I don't know, but let's see, Libra. Let's see what this is. Hmm. Somebody could have dreads or twists in their hair. Snow, get off of there. Thank you, sir. All right, let's see. Let's see, hmm. Somebody could drink a lot of coffee. I think I got that for y'all last time. <laughs> okay, let's see, or this is somebody else. I don't know who I said could possibly drink a lot of coffee. There could have been something you was tempted to do here, but the shit is messy. It's time to like clean the shit up. It's time to maybe move on from it or realize that something is messy. It's time for a fresh start or a wake up call about something. Excuse me. Or you received a wake up call about something. Let's see. What is donkey here for Libra? Let's see what this is. Spirit could be trying to tell you something and you're just not listening. Or, okay, five of wands, ace of swords. So something here could be about communication, the way you speak to somebody or the way that they're speaking to you. This is you, ace of swords, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Okay. Hmm. There could be a lot of arguing and shit going on, but... There's going to be something that's going to be resolved, a conflict. Stop, stop, little boy. Get off my cord. I don't need you down here biting my cords. <laughs> I'm not playing with you. No. No. Thank you. Sorry, y'all. He under my desk. I don't care about you being like that with me. Stop. I don't want you biting my cords. Go on. All right, so let's see. What's donkey? What's donkey for? Okay, this came out for Sagittarius like this. So Knight of Cups in reverse. Um, This could either be somebody not listening. Okay, the devil. The lovers. 
some type of connection that's toxic that you maybe could be considering or reconsidering in a sense is toxic as fuck right nine of cups in reverse is somebody that's stubborn well they could be stubborn but this could be somebody that is um very much so deceptive right this person could completely just like be blocking your intuition because of just who they are like you maybe you have a lot of love for them or something like that this could be somebody that broke your heart too what, what else for donkey with the knight of cups in reverse okay yeah the strength card somebody just make you weak in the knees whoever this is <laughs> right hmm knight of cups you could be dealing with the leo or have leo on your chart but the knight of cups in reverse is definitely um some of y'all are not confronting something within yourself that you need to confront okay the strength card in reverse is, it could mean low self-esteem. It could mean I'm um, feeling weak. Some of you guys are actually physically weak. Maybe you're tired or maybe you've been injured. Okay, I'm sorry if you've been injured. Huh. Somebody could struggle with being vulnerable or somebody feels like wide open. They feel hella vulnerable or something. Let's see. What else for donkey? For Libra. All right, nine of pentacles. Yeah, like, um, yeah, Ace of Pentacles, Two of Cups, King of Pentacles. Yeah, there's something, I feel like there's stability for you somewhere else. There's something here that you're tempted to do or tempted to go back to, but it's not healthy for you to do so. This could either be someone you're dealing with, Libra, or this is, um, you, right? So let's see what this is. Somebody here feels inadequate as well. Strength card in reverse. I feel like spirit is trying to wake you up to make you realize that you do deserve love here. Nine of Pentacles talks about somebody that's self-reliant, self-sufficient, somebody that is very um, financially stable or very well off. What's this Nine of Cups in reverse? Okay, Eight of Pentacles. Yeah, something that you were considering working out with someone. Yeah, you need to make a decision. Judgment. Maybe you've been considering working something out with someone here. Or somebody's doing this shit to you. And, and you were building something with someone. Or you feel like something is almost being built up to perfection. But it's like not for you, maybe. All right. So, hmm. I don't know, Libra. Some of y'all are having a creative blockage. You're, you're, you feel like uh, you can't work right now or something like that. It's like you can't think straight. Some of y'all are having an intuitive block as well. It could be an intuitive block or, or a creative block here. Thank you, sir. Move out the way. All right, you could be dealing with the Scorpio, Aries, Leo, Sag. Just something... Somebody feels, somebody doesn't feel like they're good enough for somebody or something. It's like someone feels too weak or too inadequate. It could be financially wise, like fi like money wise. Okay. Some of y'all could just be getting a new job or you could just be starting a new job. But I feel like maybe you're, you feel blocked or something like that is happening. Right. But you're good. It's, there's something here that you're good at. Some of y'all could be on a hunt for a new job. But maybe you feel like that won't give you the financial freedom that you want. Okay? And I understand that completely. But what's the strength card in reverse? I feel like, too, somebody wants to work something out with you, but they're scared to confront you. And because of that, you can't just sit and wait on somebody. You know, it could have a potential to be worked out, but I just, I don't know. Yeah, the emperor. Whoever this is, right? This could be you or this could be somebody else. Could be an Aries. Doesn't have to be Leo. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Could be any damn body. But this person hides very well. They hide what they're going through very well. This person, they put on a very good front. I feel like somebody here is trying to be stable or trying to get themselves together to be in this emperor energy. But they feel a certain type of way. Like they feel like they're too vulnerable or they feel like they're too weak right now. So, of course, if they feel like that, they're going to be covering it up with the ego and shit like that. You know, they don't want to be seen. What's the emperor? 
Yeah, Page of Pentacles. Yeah, somebody just starting out, somebody just building. Yeah, because they want to give to you. Empress, this is your masculine. So yeah, the Ace of Pentacles, this could be somebody new for real. You just met your divine masculine or you met somebody that is um your match energetically, but maybe in the financial world or something like that, they're not really as stable as you would like them to be or that's how they feel about themselves, right? This could be somebody in school trying to study something, learning something here. Okay, but I feel like they're trying to build a solid foundation. And I feel like it's, it's sturdy enough to be built on with the Page of Pentacles. I just feel like it's this person's confidence. They feel some type of way internally. Somebody could be scared to ask for help or scared to... This person is stubborn. They're scared to talk to you and ask you for stuff or something like that. Some of you guys can have a child with this person or something what's this nine of pentacles right here okay eight of swords you guys to be seeing 888 ten of cups the queen of wands queen of pentacles nine of cups so i feel like something is fulfilling you but there's something somebody could be stuck or feel trapped, or this is you that feels trapped, right? You could be like anxious or paranoid about something, or this is just mental entrapment. Somebody could suffer from anxiety really bad. Let me see what this Eight of Swords is about. What's this Eight of Swords? Okay, Four of Swords in reverse. Hmm. Four Swords in Reverse is finding the mental strength. Some of y'all could be strapped financially. Okay, so you could... There's something that's stressing you out, bro. I don't know. It could be about your money. But it could be other things too. But I'm just seeing money here right now. And about like something about your confidence here. This also is talking about losing faith. Four of Swords in reverse. It's talking about losing faith or somebody breaking down. Let's see. This could talk about an awakening too. What's the four? What's the four of swords? Some of you guys could be off of work or you've been off of work for a long time. It could be because of an injury. Okay, Knight of Swords. Yeah, something was moving too quick. Okay. Hmm. So something has you stuck in isolation or it is like currently, but I feel like you're going to be able to rejoin the world rather quick. All right. There could be you're healing from something. There's something that you're healing from. It could be from anxiety or something where you were injured or stuck or trapped or whatever or st stuck, <clears throat> excuse me, in a single mindset. Like somebody is used to being single. They're not used to a relationship or something like that. They're not used to having to... um give to others and maybe so i'm getting like maybe they were only prepared to give for themselves like they didn't expect to meet you maybe you caught this person off guard or something is what i'm getting that's that's what i'm getting but i feel like something is somebody's taking action to do something knight of swords there's some big changes happening in your life yeah there's something that's happening in your life where there's big changes new opportunities coming in there could be somebody coming into coming coming towards you to um talk to you about something. This person, I don't know if I like this too much. They're coming towards you, or this is somebody that you've been stuck on here. Hmm. Some of y'all could be rather restless. There's something here that's just not. It's off. You could be being stubborn about that shit, like stubborn about the fact that you need to get rest. You need to stop overworking yourself or there's something that you need to slow down with doing. All right, something like that. This is like a having a mental breakdown or a collapse or something. All right, I feel like your money is still good. Somebody's money is still good, but they're just like mentally just fucked up. Something is all over the place. It's a lot of shit going on. It could be. There could be somebody coming towards you too to like... Or you're stuck on this person, right? This impulsive person, this person that's 
trying to come towards you. It's like somebody's coming out of isolation to come towards you here. All right. Could be either one of them stories. Because <laughs> I just pulled up a lot, I feel like. I feel like somebody's stressed, though. That's what it's giving me. But somebody puts on a good front as if they're not. So what's mob? Let's see. Okay, eight of cups in reverse. A lot of eights. So definitely something about your material wealth here. Your money. It could be on pause for some of you. I feel like you're good at something that you do for work, but it's on pause because you're going through some type of an awakening. Some type of an awakening. What's mop with the Eight of Cups in reverse? Okay, yeah, the Temperance, Healing, Sagittarius, Energy. What else for mop? Okay, the Death card in reverse, Scorpio Energy. Mm. Somebody here... <clears throat> Okay, so somebody here kept trying to resist change. Some type of change that somebody keeps resisting. You. Your spirit guides are protecting you, but you had some type of wake-up call. Definitely with the coffee beans right here. It says snooze, wake-up call, and fresh start. Because the Eight of Cups talks about being stuck or stagnant, something really stagnant. It could be you being stuck on something or someone or stuck somewhere where you don't need to be. It's a mess. It's time to get this shit together, right? I feel like spirit has been trying to protect you, has been trying to protect you from something that's going to keep you stuck or trapped. And maybe you were not listening. So you, something happened. I don't know. Divine intervention stepped in with the temperance to help heal, to help you move along from something. Because the death card in reverse, there's something here that either somebody can't let you go or you can't let somebody else go or you kept resisting some type of change here that something needs to change like drastically eight of cups in reverse yeah this talks about um abandonment wounds could talk about abandonment issues or commitment issues it could talk about a whole bunch of shit but let's see but like i was saying in the beginning you could have been thinking about going backwards which was going to keep you stuck and i feel like spirit stepped in to block that shit because that was going to be a mistake what's the eight of cups in reverse Mm. okay three of swords in reverse yeah five of swords for some of you this is talking about repressed pain okay things that you've been holding in that you need to release or this could talk about you possibly wanting to reconcile with somebody heal something with someone but i feel like all it was going to do was keep you stuck okay that's that's what i'm getting with this five of swords yeah trying to kind of like get around something or manipulate something this is either you or somebody's coming towards you all right three of swords is you libra right so it could be you could be somebody else put the switch it but yeah it's something here that's been keeping you stuck some type of trauma or something that you've been through that's you couldn't let go of it and i feel like spirit stepped in to kind of like bring the tower because mm, what's the, what's the temperance or you were getting ready to make a wrong decision. Okay, yeah, two of pentacles. Being back and forth in your mind about something. Yeah, the lovers could be a decision between two. Some of you is a Gemini. Okay, or this, this is what you got in your chart somewhere. But yeah, there was like a major decision or some type of major, some type of choice that you have to make. Yeah, something is over about a relationship and maybe you haven't accepted it yet. Maybe it's not, it's not clicking so spirit brought something or the divine intervened to help you move away from this or this is what you're currently doing. You're still protected. It's crazy. It's just spirit brought something in to wake you up because you were not listening or something like that. Two of Pentacles. This is to bring back in balance. Yeah, with the temperance and the two of Pentacles to bring you back into balance to show you uh, different, right? <clears throat> yeah. Yeah, something like that happened. For some of you guys, your your money is coming back into balance as well. There could be there for some of you. There's just pain that you're holding on to. You need to release that shit. It's time for you to heal it and let it go. Or I feel like spirit is going to bring in something for you to be, maybe uh, release it, right? Because you can't get around whatever this transformation is. What's this death card in reverse? It's like you've been back and forth about something. You've been in two minds. Or trying to juggle too much at one time. Yeah, Ace of Cups. It's time for you to release something so you can go towards newer. Just maybe uh, pamper yourself. Focus on yourself. Because I don't know. 
maybe a new emotional experience is coming in or is trying to form, but you've been resisting this change. You've been resisting this person or this transformation or something like that. Yeah, the truth. Ace of Swords, the moon. It's like you're not sure. You don't know if this is the right thing, but your intuition has been telling you right. I just feel like you haven't been accepting it or somebody hasn't. Yeah, a lot of confusion. Yeah, Ace of Swords is like an aha moment. So definitely something hit you in the ass or it... it it really uh, blew some smoke up that ass because I feel like you were not. What's this death card in reverse? King of Swords. Could be about an air sign, another Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. Somebody that, that could be fairly cold towards you. Yeah, this could have been a choice in love for you. And something changed changed with that relationship. It's just time for you to let it go and go into, go into a new experience that's meant for you. Something that's better. All right, so yeah, two of swords. It's like you don't know, but I feel like you know now. <laughs> I feel like you know now. No funny shit, Libra. So for some of y'all, there's a decision that you're going to have to make or you're going to have to set boundaries. You're resisting setting boundaries or you're resisting cutting someone off and pampering yourself, pouring into yourself, being selfish with you. There's nothing wrong with you being selfish for you. And if people don't understand that, then I don't know what the fuck to tell them. You know what I'm saying? I feel like people need to understand that you um need to love up on yourself. You know, especially if there's people around you that are, is always needy or they always got some bullshit going on. I feel like you you're starting to be cold towards these people or maybe that's what you kind of like need to do in a, in a still in a caring way. Don't be mean, but I just feel like you need to stand up for yourself or speak up. But for most of you, this could be a person here that's really cold towards you. And it's time for you to drop that ass. You can go towards new love, possibly. Something that's something else that's destined for you. Okay. Wow, very interesting. All right, so let's see. What is Apple? All right, yeah, the sun. Yeah, Leo energy. So yeah, you're not too enthused about something. <laughs> okay, your ego has been getting in the way of something too. I feel like you were overly confident or a bit conceited about something. There's an energy of being humbled here. So somebody here has been humbled or they are humbled or, yeah, Ace of Pentacles, something new. Page of Cups, something new. Seven of Swords, something that you've been trying to run away from or lying to yourself about or something like that. You were about to miss an opportunity or you are, right? So I'm just here to tell you now, maybe you need to stop what you're doing. Libra, I don't know what you're doing, but... What's Apple with the sun in reverse? <clears throat> Definitely unrealistic expectations possibly with the sun. Yeah, two of cups. Yeah, what's Apple with the sun in reverse and the two of cups? So there could be, yeah, the tower. <laughs> I knew the tower was going to come out. Scorpio energy, Aries energy. The tower, the four of wands, the seven of cups. Above and beyond by... um. uh jean aiko is on janae or jean i don't know how to say her name but i love her <laughs> yeah let's see something real quick it was something here that was blocking your happiness for one but something about being able to see a relationship for what it is, right? It's something that you could not see or you weren't really... I don't know. What's the sun in reverse? The queen of pentacles. So I feel like that's you. Well, who's this queen of pentacles? Ten of Cups, yeah. So, so okay. So, I'm just getting somebody maybe took something for granted, maybe. There's something here. Okay, so that's why Spirit woke you up, okay? Because I feel like a lot of you guys, or for somebody, I don't know. There's something that you could not see. So, you were tempted to stay stuck or go backwards or walk away from something. But it's something stopped you or put you on hold, right? Because your happiness is here. I feel like you're happy. You have the family you want. You have the love that, you're, that you want. The relationship that you want or this is somebody else right but you could not see something it's like either you have unrealistic expectations for it or your ego was getting in the way 
or you were too sure about something that wasn't going to work out. Like spirit needed to knock you off your feet for a bit to wake you up and see something. All right, because mm, some of y'all could be getting ready to be a mom or you could um somebody could be having could have had fertility issues or something like that. But I feel like this is more of. um uh, Yeah, wow. The Hierophant, the High Priestess. These are counterparts. The Hierophant and the High Priestess. The Page of Wands. That's good news. Stop. Stop, little boy. Turn on my bed. Page of Wands, Page of Swords, Two of Swords. <laughs> my dog is, is... What'd I say? I said stop it. No, no, no. Thank you very much. Now, so these are counterparts. Could be dealing with a Pisces or a Taurus. So, some of y'all are with your counterpart, but you've been confused. I feel like you've been really confused. All right, let's see. What's the, the Two of Cups? The Seven of Cups. Didn't I just say confused? Thank you, Spirit. Yeah, it's like you've been confused here. You have been really confused or frustrated or I'm just getting an energy where you have not been sure about something. And things are taking off pretty good with you and this person, but you just have been maybe, I don't know, picking with it or trying to pull it apart to find something wrong, you know? So, yeah. All right, Libra. Seven of Cups. Yeah, in and out energy, Knight of Wands, the Hermit. Nine of Wands. Yeah, somebody, whoever this is, somebody that's, that's been in your energy, they are not even saying anything to you. Whoever this is that you had high hopes for, they could be doing spiritual work or healing work or something like that. For some of you guys, you did get injured or something happened. Let me see. Let me see something. What's the tower? The Fool. Aquarius energy. Sit. What's the tower with the fool? The yeah, the ten of wands. Yeah, so this is baggage from the past here that you're needing to release the fool and let go for a new beginning. So it, it spirit brung it. So whatever spirit did, it woke you up. Okay, just saying. Yeah, it, it woke you up because I feel like you were ignoring it or you were about to like I don't know do something about it or with it that wasn't going to be too good for you. Uh, yeah, it's something here. Yeah. So this is emotional baggage. Either this is emotional baggage or this is baggage here that's is dead weight. It's something that needs to be let go of. And I feel like you're releasing it now. Give me a second, Libra. All right, Libra, my bad. So, yeah. So it's something, something, there, there's a tower here that's setting you free. It's breaking you free from a cycle that I feel like you just like, it's just comfortable for you because you're used to it, but it's not healthy, right? So I feel like you're breaking free of that. Somebody is not saying something. Somebody is very cold towards you and I feel like you're, you're over it or you should be, right? So now you're breaking free from it. So let's see. What is, um... What is coffee beans? All right, the hangman. Yeah, shifting your perspective. <laughs> something woke you up. With the hangman. Spirit wanted you to see something. Uh, Pisces energy. What's the uh, coffee beans with the hangman? Yeah, because there's something you've been stagnant on. Yeah, everything is fine. Yeah, it's time to release. Time to let something go because everything is not fine. It's time to keep it. It's time to stop pretending like it is. Right? What else for coffee beans? Yeah, I feel like Spirit wanted you, wanted you to wake up and see, yeah, Ten of Swords again. Spirit wanted to wake you up and see that somebody was betraying you and it was a time for you to release it or somebody has not been honest with you about something. Okay, yeah, it's time for you to move forward. The Chariot, yeah, work somewhere else, a partner with somebody else or do something. I don't know, but the Queen of Swords does talk about repressed trauma. It talks about things that, um, you're very strong, yes, but it could talk about things that are making you like hard like you're hard up a bit you know it's time to kind of like um 
you know, release the pain or release the baggage that has been holding you back. But definitely a betrayal here that you need to release and let go of. And maybe stop having hopes for somebody that keeps betraying you, you know. I mean, it's a hard thing to hear, but it's true. So what's the hangman right here? Yeah, the world. Yeah, burden. The world in reverse. Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius energy. Yeah, some, so something here has been weighing you down. It's been a burden. It's been stressful. I feel like something here did not, a goal was not achieved. I feel like that's the hardest thing to get over for you, maybe. Something here that you had high hopes for did not, it wasn't successful. So you could be disappointed. There's a need to release disappointment. You know, something here that just is incomplete. And there's a reason for that. So there's a need to shift your perspective and kind of like release it, you know, and keep moving. Because I feel like you were asleep at first. Now you see what's really going on here or you should be, right? What is it? Everything is fine. Yeah, the lovers. Yeah, about a relationship. Gemini energy. I just saw the King of Cups with the Queen. Yeah. King of Cups, Queen of Cups. Ten of Pentacles. The Judgment. Yeah. Somebody here could be married. Yeah, Five of Swords. Somebody here is married to somebody or they living with somebody. Okay. They're in regret. Whoever this is. So there is a match here between you and somebody else. But I feel like Spirit wants you to know that it's not healthy. They're in some type of conflict here, but this person is married. King of Cups with the Ten of Pentacles. They already have a family somewhere else. King of Cups, they're, they're your match. It's crazy. They're your match. They're supposed to be with you, but they're married to somebody else or they have a family somewhere else. And these family members could be manipulating them or they're in conflict with these people. Somebody wanted to win something at all costs and okay, they got the person. Like, all right. So, you know, just... That shit is crazy. <laughs> I don't know what to say about that shit. Really. Child, but the lovers, yeah, major choice, a major decision. Balance, duality. Let me see. What's the lovers? Somebody here could have made you an option. They put you in competition with somebody. Okay, the chariot, yeah, moving forward. The chariot, cancer, energy. Fortitude, willpower, determination to push forward through something here. But I feel like this relationship of some sort has been still in your like lingering. This could be somebody here that you were passionate about here, but you had to let them go or move on from. I feel like Spirit is trying to tell you that everything is okay. Everything is fine. All right. There could be balance coming into a relationship with you and somebody, somebody that you're dating that you possibly were not seeing where it could go at first. Now I feel like you have a wake up call because you released this past hurt or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Or this past person that's not good for you anyways. So there could be balance coming in or being restored in a relationship for you as moving forward. Right? After this ending, what's the Ten of Swords? Yeah, Eight of, eight of Wands. What's the Ten of Swords with the Eight of Wands? Yep, Seven of Pentacles. So, yeah, you you could have been waiting for somebody here. There could have been somebody you maybe wanted to put more work in or wait for, more work in with or wait for. But I feel like now, excuse me, you're moving forward. I feel like um, hmm. There's something here that you invested in that you're waiting to see the fruits of your labor, but I feel like it's disappointing. Somebody's disappointing you. I feel like you feel ignored by somebody. Like, this is that other person is not it. <laughs> so, if you wanted to know that, here's your confirmation because 555 five, five on the timer because I had to start the timer over. But yeah. Seven of Pentacles. Yeah, something happened where you. um that woke you up you're evaluating something or you're questioning something you're looking at yourself now or something like that and it woke you up so wow libra <laughs> i don't know what happened here so let's get some of these All right. 
for Libra. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North, Nude. Let's see. So, emotions. We have water energy again. So, you could be dealing with a water sign or you have that in your chart. So, it says, let your deepest emotions come to the surface and release them. It is okay to be emotional. When you suppress them, you will only cause pain and blocks into your body. To have a healthy energy flow, you must learn to manage your emotions and acknowledge them. Yeah. Yep. So, there's a lot of things that are deep within you. A lot of these feelings and emotions that could have needed to be released. All right, yeah. Learning. Time to reflect on your life lessons. What you have been through is coming to perspective. Yeah. New ways of looking at things are now being shown. Yeah. Then we have destiny. Divine intervention. Whatever is happening right now, it was all orchestrated before you were born. It is all happening for a reason and it will benefit your growth. Remain positive. Yeah. So whatever happened here, it, yeah. Trust your intuition, facing fears, dark night of the soul, patience. Yeah. Transformation. Yeah. Yep, new direction, compass, yeah. So, <laughs> your destiny is where you are right now, Libra. Whatever you're doing is your destiny. Whatever you were contemplating on going backwards to, it was, that was not, it was a part of it, but it was just to teach you a lesson or something. It wasn't meant for you to stay there. So, maybe that's something that you needed to um, understand. I'm just looking at the dog. I'm trying to see where he went, but... Anyways, so let me know in the comments how this resonated. Like, subscribe, turn your notification bell on, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye, Libra.